Tesla is planning further expansions here in Giga Berlin. We will look into all the details as well as the Chinese market. I'm glad to have you back here on my channel. Now for the Giga Berlin production, we see a lot of new cars. Production is going very well right now. We are currently already slightly above 3000 cars per week. Now looking into the expansions plan, we have actually not only the production side in the north that we're going to talk about in the next few weeks much more about because we don't have any details yet. But what's very important for the future and the logistical side is our own train station. And with this train station, Tesla will be able to get all the containers with stuff inside that they need for the production very easy on site. But not only that, it's very important as well for Tesla to receive the possibility to actually transport cars away like it is happening right now in Austin. Now, despite being Austin already doing this fact that they are able to transport cars away and distribute them all over the US, in Giga Berlin, they are planning to have it right at the factory. So pretty much producing a car, rolling it off the production right on the train and then distribute it over entire Europe. So that is the plan here. And we see here right now how important it is to have such a possibility to transport cars by train. Again, we are in Germany very slowly when it comes to construction. So it's going to take another year until it is going to be confirmed. I'm personally very angry about that, but let's hope um, they might maybe find a solution to do it much faster. So trains to move all the cars all over Europe, for example, making an entire train for Italy, moving it to Italy or an entire train for Denmark, moving it to Denmark. This would help really the logistical aspect here at this factory. And as you can see, it's pretty cha chaotic right now. There lots of cars. You see it on the right side at the street, lots of cars being parked. So from the production side, that is very bullish. You see many, many more cars arriving here and they are also transported away. But from the logistical point of view, it is very important to have a train so they can use the train to distribute the cars much easier directly from the factory. Again, right now they're using as well trains, but you have to transport the car a few kilometers away. And this is um, not as good if we talk about efficiency. Now we have Model X and Model S arriving here in Europe. For US people, it might be not such a big news, but we have been waiting a very, very long time for it. So many people are very hyped about this news. So again, we're gonna see the first experiences of the Model S and the Model X finally after such a long time here in Germany and of course the entire European continent. So that is very good news and will help as well um, Tesla to establish itself in the premium segment um, slash luxury segment, higher end segment again here in Europe. It is a very powerful segment so I expect uh, very good feedback here from customers. Now, when it comes to the Model 3, I was actually wrong and I would like to correct myself here. Um, Tesla is not doing a refresh. Um, they are actually doing a, re a ramp of the production. They uh, make the production line new. That is what I mentioned as well already, but it's not gonna be a redesign of the Model 3. It's just gonna be um, efficiency, um, cutting cost here, um, doing that, what they are already doing in Shanghai, Giga Berlin or Austin, being very efficient when it comes to the production line. And they need to do that in Fremont as well. And that's what they are working on right now. Now, looking into Giga Shanghai, we have actually pretty good news despite all the bad news over the past weeks and cutting production. Now, there was um, news today that actually Tesla is supposed to um, stop production of the Model Y in the last week of December. There's no reason behind that yet, but I do assume it might be some repairs of the production. We have to follow up with that, but November was very successful. 62,493 cars, 10% share close to 400,000 cars being sold in China alone this year and 79.7 um, thousand cars were actually sold in the first two months. That is an absolute record. Um, it's almost twice as much in some other um, areas. So, I mean, this is without a doubt a um, very, very good increase of production and sales to customers in China. 
But not only that, we are also going to look into um, more details here when it comes to the outlook of the Chinese market because the Chinese market is about to grow and as well the um, part of the new energy vehicles are going to grow as well. Um, if we look into the general market, Tesla is growing here with 97% and on the other um, hand the entire market is actually declining by 9.2%. Again the 9.2% 9 9 um, might be because of all the uncertainty, the lockdowns um, and the supply chain issues. Again, this might come back into a slow growth rate, but again, um, Tesla growing here very fast compared to the general market. Now, um, Shanghai and of course the strategy of the Chinese government is now to ease the lockdowns. Um, if it's going to really happen, we have to wait for it. Um, but if it happens, it will um, get the uncertainty away um, that Shanghai has actually or the factory has to um, shut down again or would have any supply chain issues. I think after such a long time, it is um, very good to see um, to go back to normal here. Now, if we look into the sales estimates by million, um, when it comes to new energy vehicles, um, we are expecting around 9 million um, cars in 2023. Um, so that would be a share of 35% of the general market. Um, let's see if it's going to be that high. It's going to be very interesting to see. Now, again, um, not only this is happening right now with um, Tesla, we have seen some restructuring when it comes to the um, responsibilities in the car business. Um, and I do think as Tesla is getting bigger, um, it's very interesting to see um, which persons um, will step up. Um, maybe Elon Musk is going to move a bit more in the background and more people that are um, able to take over Tesla in management positions will do so. Um, I do find that a very good idea. I find it a wise idea. And currently, I do have the feeling that they are concentrating more on expanding current productions like in Fremont, like in Austin and Giga Berlin ramping up the production, as well as Shanghai currently being at a maximum capacity of 22,000 cars. And yes, they can do that for quite some time. But if they want to grow for another um, around five years by 50% per year, um, they definitely need a new factory at some point. Further expansions in Giga Berlin will help. But um, I do expect a new factory being announced quite, uh, quite soon. Um, and let me know what you think, which area and where it will be, um, what you thought about that. Is there's a lot of um, rumors out there? So let's see what's going to happen in the new year or maybe even at the end of this year. So thank you very much for being here today.